Uh, my name is Gustavo Eresi. I'm a pulmonologist at the Cleveland Clinic, where I am the section head for pulmonary vascular disease. We are a large pulmonary hypertension referral center, so we have a, a large population of patients with pulmonary arterial hypertension, or PAH, uh, on PAH-targeted therapies. Pulmonary arterial hypertension is a cardiopulmonary disease. So it starts in the lungs with pulmonary vascular uh, obstruction and remodeling, but that imposes a strain on the heart, specifically the right side of the heart, so they have right heart failure. So they're really limited both from the pulmonary perspective, but also from the heart perspective. Pulmonary arterial hypertension uh, remains a uh, difficult diagnosis and remains a uh, vastly under-recognized disease. Uh, so to give you an example, uh, most recent data suggests that the average time from symptom onset until arriving at the diagnosis of PAH is around two years, which is a long time and which is very similar to what it was 15, 20 years ago. So unfortunately, we haven't really made that much progress in that regard. The, one of the reasons is that the symptoms of PAH are nonspecific, uh, meaning patients present with symptoms that can be uh, attributed to other more common conditions, such as left heart failure, asthma or COPD, as well as obesity and deconditioning. Patients present with difficulty breathing, with dyspnea and exertion, uh, and that's highly nonspecific. An unmet need is the fact that we need increased recognition among the public and among healthcare providers that uh, a person with dyspnea and exertion of unclear uh, etiology uh, needs to be evaluated for pulmonary arterial hypertension, that the uh, first next step, uh, as far as screening goes, is the transthoracic echocardiogram. There are there signs of uh, pulmonary hypertension being uh, probable or, or even likely. And if that's the case, then uh, the patient ought to be referred to a center with experience and expertise in pulmonary hypertension to complete the evaluation that involves uh, right heart catheterization to make sure that the diagnosis is correct and then appropriate therapy needs to be started. 